Hey, what's up everybody? It's hey. OMG Cranberry is number one here again. And today I'm coming at you with this SD Super Deformed Full Armor Gundam. And here's a quick shot of the front of the box. Let's pull the camera out so you can see it. Pretty cool. Now, originally I was never going to buy an SD kit just because I never cared for them. But, it was my girlfriend's birthday and she asked me to get her one. And she picked out this one. And it wasn't bad. It was $12 at my hobby store. Now, go ahead and start with the articulation. Head will go full 360, like so. Give us a little better quality there. Arms, full 360. Rotates below the shoulder, which is also at the elbow. Now, head will also go up and down that far. Pretty nice. Arms will come out that far. Wrist will rotate. You will get that far out of the arm, forward or back. Waist will rotate full 360. Get the arm out of the way. Leg will go forward and back, side to side. And there's a little bit of uh, motion because it's on a ball joint and a poly cap down in there. If you can see it. Foot will also come down like that. And that's for the transformation into the full armor Gundam, which I'll show here in just a second. Now if you pop the, the pot top part off, you can look and you can see the details for the core fighter, which I've panel on. Okay, now as for stickers, you get one for the, the crotch piece. You did get two, uh, one for the eye and one for underneath the eye, but I just went ahead and painted the black with the sharpie and the yellow with some screaming yellow testers paint. I panel lined the vents, the Vulcan, I painted the hands black with a sharpie, uh, got the sides of the feet here with the sharpie, panel lined that, panel lined the neck, the cooling vents. Now, before I transform it here, I'm just going to look at some of the extra parts it comes with. Because you can, if you so choose to, make the regular RX-78, which would require painting. And here's the, the head piece it gives you. The head and shoulders. Not like the shampoo. Some optional pieces for the feet and the lower torso. Extra unused polycaps. sticker sheet. Now there are more stickers, I'll just get to them when I transform them because they're mainly on the extra armor. Now we'll go ahead and start putting this on. Here's what the armor comes on. I don't know what this thing is, the the little sled that it's on, so somebody leave a comment, tell me what it is. It's kind of cool looking though. I'll just go ahead and take this off one piece by piece. You take that off the top. Take these off the sides off the front. You can go ahead and take this piece off which sticks very securely. Take that off. Take these off. Those. And last but not least, these parts on the bottom. And what you're left with is this little ship looking thing. Now this does, on the box, it shows this thing painted, as you can see right there, but it comes all molded in this off-white color. Go ahead and stick him right there, and we'll start transforming this guy. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with the shoulders, make sure I've got the right one. Just put slide them on over the regular shoulders. There's another sticker, that's ESF. EFSF logo. Go ahead and put this piece on that arm. You gotta go ahead and put the chest piece on. Since and there's two more stickers on the chest piece, these orange metallic vents. Uh, put the front skirt on, and it has two stickers on it as well. The two orange pieces. 
and put the backpack on. Now you do have, you have a choice of two backpacks. You can have the full armor backpack, or you can have the regular RX-78 backpack. And one thing I did forget to mention is it gives you a lower torso to make the regular RX-78. Okay, and put these leg armor on, and it has a sticker on each side of them. Whoops. That one's a little loose sometimes, so put this piece on, what you do is you just slide it slide the grip into the hand and then push it up like that. And that has a little sticker right there. And then you take the feet, fold them down, or they say take them off on the instructions, but I just fold them down because it's just as easy. And then there you go. There we go. Now the cannon has four white striped stickers which they don't stay on very good so I'm just going to go back later and just paint those white and you just slide that onto the peg and there you have the FA-78 full armor gun now also it comes with this little visor I don't know what it's supposed to be off of please inform me of what it is you got a little bit of panel lining to do inside this camera, I guess, is what that is. And on these side pieces and on top. And then what you do to put it on is slide the, that little slot, slot A into slot B. And also, the forehead camera is not painted and does not come with a sticker, so I just took my Model Master's clear green, painted that, the front, the front part, the back part, and on this little gun here. And then what you do is you just put that on like that, and you have the fully equipped full armor Gundam. Now, for articulation with him fully transformed, no loss to the head whatsoever, can go all the way around, still go up and down, with the cannon, goes up and down like so. Arms can no longer go full 360 because of the backpack. You can still get them like that. You lose a little bit of articulation with the elbows. Still rotates 360 at the at the elbow. Now for this back camera, it'll go up or down. You lose a little bit of in the feet, not much. You can see how far it goes back and forth now. Oh, oh yeah, now one thing I forget them in, they will rotate full 360 at the joint up in the, in the waist section. Feet will still go down like that. And now the, you, you can still get it to rotate at the waist full 360, but there'll be some clicks and bumps where it's got the extra armor on. So, I wouldn't recommend it. Also, one more thing it comes with is a, is a beam saber. Beam saber molded in the in the same off-white as the little sled back there so I just took a red sharpie and painted it red slide that into the hand and now uh, you have the SD full armor Gundam fully equipped and ready to go well guys this has been my review of the SD full armor Gundam I hope you enjoyed it uh, hit like if you did dislike if you didn't always as always leave a comment subscribe and I will see you next guys next yeah. time. Do I have your attention? I know the way you've been living. I so reckless tragedy and this welcome to the family. Hey, there's something missing. Only time will alter your vision. Never in question, lethal injection. Welcome to the family.